For 41 years, there was no NFL venue quite like Mile High Stadium. And while the team has moved next door, the memories still remain. There's something about the atmosphere of this place. It really is hard to explain all of the feelings that I have standing here. It's, it's been a tremendous house. This has been a tremendous house. That's an eerie feeling about this place. Um, and it was kind of put together because when I first got here, it didn't look like this. It began as a minor league ballpark called Bear Stadium. But as Denver's passion for football grew over time, Mile High grew as well. It went from 23,000 with temporary stands. It was expanded to 50,000 in the 70s, and the stadium was increased to 75,000 in the late 70s, just in time for the arrival of a good football team in Denver. 1977 brought Denver a Super Bowl team, and with it, a phenomenon called Bronco Mania. I think the record will prove that there was never more of a home field advantage than the Denver Broncos had in this building. There's never been more of a home field advantage. Most intimidating to opposing teams at Mile High were the raucous South Stands. Wrigley Field has the bleacher bums, and Denver had these South Stands with the wooden bleachers, about 9,000 seats. This is where the crazies sat. This is where great bonds were forged. I believe that there were liaisons here that produced children. <laughs> The noise in this building is deafening because of the way it's built, the way it's shaped, and the closeness of the fans. Fans could actually talk to you. Because my high stadium is predominantly made of steel, but it made an interesting sound, it actually has sort of a reverberating quality to it. We could hear the roar of the crowd from the south stands uh, in our locker room while we're talking about getting ready to go play the game. Boom, it's those steel. It's steel. Yeah, it's steel. It's steel. You hear our fans making this stadium move. Even the brutal Rocky Mountain winters failed to weaken the fans' resolve. As for the team, the hardships of wintry conditions pale to those of the cramped quarters in the Mile High locker room. Now, we're moving to an area that's much more like what I remember a locker room being like in the NFL which is the, these, little tiny, these little tiny lockers right here that have the hangers in it just like you have at home. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of concrete. Um, one of these lockers is basically the, about a third the size of a regular NFL locker. And this is really where your adrenaline starts to flow, right here when you're getting ready to walk out of this locker room and you know you're gonna see 75,000 screaming Bronco fans waiting on you. My heart would really start to pump about the time I would, you know, open up on this, this panoramic view of the stadium. Rather than being imploded with dynamite, Mile High Stadium was disassembled piece by piece, a fitting tribute to an entity that was far greater than its collective parts. Sunday at Mile High Stadium, transcended football. It was like the world's largest church on Sunday morning. It's part of me. It's, uh, it's part of, of, of my whole career and what I'd accomplished here and I feel like I'm a part of it and it'll always be a part of me.